For question number two, the correct option is option two. That is, this graph is incorrect. Now, how do you conclude that? To show you steps of solution, look at the graph four first, plotting velocity as a function of time. It's a straight line with a constant negative slope. Now, how do you find the slope? You draw a line parallel to time axis at any point on the graph and take this angle theta made by this graph, this straight line with the parallel to time axis. In this case, this theta is an obtuse angle and therefore the slope of this line m that is giving me dv dt, rate of change in velocity with time, that is equal to tan theta. Now theta being an obtuse angle, tan theta is negative and you conclude that this is the case of a body or a particle moving in a straight line with a constant negative acceleration or that is constant deceleration. So if you can show the motion quickly here, suppose this is the x-axis, the particle is starting from this origin at time t is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, initial position x is equal to 0. It moves in the plus x direction under a constant deceleration. Deceleration means acceleration is pointing in the minus x direction while the motion is towards the right in plus x direction. So initially, velocity is this. It keeps on decreasing under the deceleration and at some point the particle comes to a stop momentarily, reverses direction of motion and it again builds up from a small, very small speed to the initial speed at the starting point. Quickly once again, is the maximum speed decreasing in the plus x direction coming to rest momentarily, speed becomes zero, reverse x direction, speed again builds up from a small value to the initial maximum value, velocity gets reversed at this point. So that is the motion. Now for this motion you can understand that velocity can be expressed as a function of time as v is equal to u minus a t, where a itself is taken to be a positive quantity. Once again, v is equal to u minus a t, while a is positive, and minus a means it's a case of constant deceleration. So here, looking at this graph number three, you recall position as a function of time. The position is x, time is t. The corresponding equation, kinematic equation is x is equal to ut minus half a t square, isn't it? Since starting from rest, x0 is equal to 0, x is equal to ut minus half a t square, a being itself a positive quantity. We can verify this graph number 3 in two different ways. As you can see, position versus time graph, the slope of the graph at any point gives dx dt, that is the velocity at various points in time. And for that, we draw a few tangents to the graph at various points as shown by these red lines. And how we interpret them? Little after start, you can see for this tangent, it makes an angle theta with the time axis. It's an acute angle and it's a large angle. So tan theta is positive, a large value. But this tan theta is nothing but dx dt, isn't it? Slope is dx dt, which is the velocity. So a large acute angle theta means for this position, slope here is large, which means velocity is large little after start. Consider this point now. Here the tangent is making an acute angle smaller than the previous case. Therefore, the slope is smaller, a positive value. Velocity is positive but smaller. As you understand, the particle is losing in velocity in the plus x direction as it goes more and more towards the right. At the topmost point, the tangent is parallel to the time axis. It means theta is zero degree, tan theta is zero. The slope is zero, velocity is zero. 
the particle has come to stop momentarily. Little after that, consider this tangent. This is making an angle with the time axis that is an obtuse angle. Therefore, tan theta is negative. V negative means particle has reversed its motion. It is now moving in the minus x direction with a small velocity. And if you consider this tangent, once again, it makes an obtuse angle with the time axis, but this time, this part of the graph being steeper, the value of tan theta is negative, but its absolute value is higher than this value here. I say once again, compare these two positions here and here. In both cases, theta is obtuse angle, but this part being steeper, tan theta is a negative value like this, but with a larger absolute value, which means velocity is negative with a larger magnitude. That is exactly the case as you understand the particle as it comes to a starting point. Its speed keeps on increasing under this acceleration pointing towards the left. So this graph is a correct graph plotting position as a function of time. That's one way of checking it. Another way I'm showing quickly here. You can rearrange to write this as x is equal to minus half a t square plus u t plus zero. Now this is conforming to this standard equation of a parabola which says y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Here y corresponds to x, the coordinate plotted vertically x corresponds to t, the coordinate plotted horizontally. So for a standard equation like this, if a is negative, like in this case, it's minus half a is the coefficient of t square. In that case, the graph is, the parabola has got an axis parallel to the vertical axis opening in the minus direction. That's exactly the case as you can see. For a graph like this, A being negative, the parabola, this axis is parallel to Y axis, opening in the minus Y direction. In this case, it means parabola is opening downwards. That's again the case, and you corroborate this one. In the same way, if you look at this first graph, velocity as a function of position, recall the corresponding kinematic equation that is v square is equal to u square minus 2ax, a itself being positive here. And you can arrange it to write down x is equal to minus 1 upon 2a into v square plus u square by 2a. Now this is equivalent to x is equal to ay square plus by plus c form. Once again, I could write this equation involving v and x as x is equal to minus 1 upon 2av square plus u square by 2 and by comparison, this is looking like x is equal to ay square plus by plus c where x corresponds to position x, y corresponds to velocity v and while a is itself negative like in this case minus 1 upon 2a this is a graph this is the parabola whose axis is parallel to the x-axis opening in the minus x direction once again if this a is negative of this form like in this case the parabola has got an axis parallel to or the same as x-axis opening in the minus x direction in this case it means parabola is opening in the minus x direction towards the left. That way, this graph is also corroborated. So this one is correct, this one is correct, this one is correct. Obviously, this one has to be wrong. You can pick your incorrect graph and that is the correct option, option number two. Well, we have already got our correct choice, that is option number two, and you can stop here. However, I take the opportunity to interpret graphs in kinematics a little more elaborately for the benefit of students. Look at this graph too now, distance versus time. Distance is scalar quantity, that is the length of the path traveled. 
So unlike position x that is increasing first then decreasing back to zero, in graph number three the distance traveled that is the length of the path can never be decreasing. It has gone like this, you count this distance and then again in the return trip there also the length of the path remains positive because distance is a positive quantity and that's why you understand throughout the graph distance increases in time. But is the graph correct? Let's see this. Well, distance being a scalar, we can say that for this graph, the slope of the graph at any point gives not velocity, but the speed of the particle, which is always positive whether the motion is towards right or towards left. So, I once again draw a few tangents to the graph at various points as shown by these red lines. Little after start, you can see here, the graph is not that steep. Theta is an acute angle, a small angle. Tan theta is a positive value, small value. So, speed is small. A little later, you can see here, the graph becomes steeper, which means tan theta is positive, a larger value, and speed has increased. Which is clearly not the case. As you can see here, speed has decreased initially in the forward trip from higher value to smaller value, that this graph is wrong simply because it shows in the first part of the motion that speed is smaller than greater. Similarly, in the second part you can hear, you see that is possibly they are trying to portray the return trip. Here it is steeper, so speed must be larger. Here it is flatter, speed must be smaller. Is unlike the real case that the return trip speed is initially small goes to the maximum value at the end. So this graph is very much wrong as you can see. So what would have been the correct graph for distance versus time? I can show that as well somewhere here. It's something like this. Let's see once again by drawing tangents at various points. Red lines represent the tangents drawn at various points of the graph. If the shape were like this, you can see this part is steep, slope gives the speed, that's a large value like this in the forward motion. Then consider this next part in the forward motion, it is flatter, so the slope is smaller, speed has gone down, here the case is same. In the return trip, once again the tangent here, you can see this is a less steep part and that's why speed is small, but remains positive. Everywhere you can see for the graph, the slope is positive, speed is positive, it's large value, smaller value, then again smaller value, and then again larger value, just like the original situation. That's why this could have been the right graph, and this graph given in the question must be a wrong graph. That's why I chose option number two. I discussed the problem in great detail, much more than we required for this question to make clear the concept of graphical analysis in problems on kinematics.